All right, back again. So, um, well, oops, help if I open the camera. All right, so I have been really enjoying the new Planeswalkers, and I like having the Cephalid Coliseum thing in there with Narset. And I thought, if I'm going to run Narset as a way to make Dak Faden or Coliseum be a discard effect, why not double up on the kinds of effects that will enable that. Why not go back the way that I had it before with the single Notion Thief? This gives me two ways of blocking my opponent out and comboing with either of these two cards here. So it gives me the same combo in two different routes. Now I'm not sure if that's really worthwhile because honestly Kaya almost does the same work. Um, and the redundancy here is not that great. So in the short term, I left it out and I put Chrome Mox in because in a lot of games, I just want to get, with all these extra Planeswalkers at three, I just want to hit them on uh, turn two if I can, get them down faster. Um, so for now, I think I'll leave the Chrome Mox in, but uh, I'm interested in what y'all might think about running the Notion Thief in here as and going with the double um, lockout plan, the Narset Notion Thief. Notion Thief being something that you can actually mystical teachings for, so it's easier to kind of put it together. Um, it's also human, which means it works great with Cavern of Souls. Um, and of course, you'll just randomly hose somebody that, uh, say, activates a Jace the Mind Sculptor or something along those lines. It's a pretty interesting card. So what do you, what do you think about trying to do something along those lines? Do you think that's better than Chrome Mox? I don't know, but I do have a game for you against Arcane Net. And uh, this is cool because this player actually allowed me to play, even though the game was over, they allowed me to like finish, complete the lock, basically. And uh, I think that was really neat. And um, and uh, I want to show you what happened. So I have this crazy hand that looks really good. Opponent's playing Liliana, Heretical Healer. I would love it if I had been going first uh, because, obviously, I want to get down a Planeswalker ASAP here. But... Um, the timing on this works really nicely. That muddle here means that I'm not going to get hemmed or vindicated or sinkled or something. And then if my opponent just goes Planeswalker, I've got Teferi to um, do exactly what he... Teferi actually has the feeling of a, a little mini time walk, exactly like a Teferi should. Uh, we'll just undo their turn and I take a card for their troubles, which is awesome. I love that effect. Um, and now, of course, my opponent cannot play... Uh, instance. They have no more combat tricks. Teferi's extra card dug me into a Cavern of Souls, which means that I can hit uh, Brea right on time here, which is awesome. I thought I was going to have to try to find some way to uh, deal with that Dream Stealer, but here we go. Uh, Brea comes down, and I've got it addressed. So my opponent sends in here, and I think maybe they had a combat trick and then realized they couldn't play it. I'm not sure, but either way, it's a 100% safe block. Opponent then uses uh, Gare Reach Sanctum, and, uh, of course, I've got to let, I decided I'm going to let Muddle the Mixture go because the rest of my hand is just so gas. But I'm also going to play Narset and find myself a Chromatic Lantern um, off of it. And now if they activate Garage Sanctum again, Sanitarium rather, um, they're going to have a bad time of it there. Instead, my opponent runs Walk the Plank. Fortunately, not. Um, so there is a new card, and I had... It in this deck, but I actually it's the Chrome Mox right now because I was I was chatting with Brian and um, he he says it's it's, it's unreal. It, there aren't a lot of scenarios where this is going to be good, but this the Elder spell destroying the number of target Planeswalkers and then choose a Planeswalker you control and put two loyalty counters on it. The Elder spell is basically Vandal Blast for Planeswalkers only, but it's very very narrow. And when I was chatting with Brian, he said, well, maybe just Dreadbore would be better. And then I was thinking, well, we've already kind of skipped that, so maybe maybe nothing. Um, but uh, that is a card that I'll I mention because I forgot about it in this game. You see I'm tapped out with no counters up. Luckily, my opponent does not have the Elder Spell here, which would have broke me uh, off pretty hard. Um, instead, they just run out of Solemn Simulacrum, so we'll continue. So it's it's a card that... In the past, I never had to keep in mind, and now I do. Um, just a random Planeswalker sweeper that, in any mono black deck, should be a mandatory card to play, I think. Um, Planeswalkers are very hard for black to deal with, typically, um, because most of the cards that dealt with it were very clunky. They were expensive mana four drops and stuff like that, or three drop sorceries. They're just not that great. But the Elder Spell is just 
beautiful for that sort of thing. Anyway, my opponent uh, swings in with Simulacrum. I'm going to chump block here and goes for Liliana. The reason I'm doing it this way is I was hoping for this exact play that would go Liliana Sector Simulacrum so that I could flashback Snapcaster, plow Liliana in response in order to prevent it from flipping, and then they don't get to draw the card off the Simulacrum. So they lost an important resource and they lost time. When it does dread return it back, so they get a, a swamp out of that, which is fine, but um, not too big of a deal when I have Narset over there pinning my opponent's drawdown. I'll just go ahead and bounce it back to their hand, take another card, and then um, decide I'm going to use Tezret, and I'm going to try to put together the rest of this combo and just lock my opponent out of the game. Meanwhile, of course, I have Necropotence running now. Uh, I spell seeker into a mana drain and I pass after attacking. So I actually have 25 damage in artifacts in play if I untap the mana vault. Um, and my opponent can't do anything about it if they have no blocker. But they run out Liliana. And I, I think my opponent forgot about their Cavern of Souls. So I just kind of played um, because Liliana is a human. I, I just played and gave him the benefit of the doubt that they meant to use it, and so I never counter Liliana. Uh, I just assume, like, they probably meant to use it, and I just didn't want to, you know, do anything with that. So anyway, my opponent here, I Vampiric Tutor, and then Factor Fiction. My opponent actually meant to split up my piles, but it wouldn't matter how they split it. All I cared about was Cephalid Colosseum, which is what I Vampiric on top of my library, because I could then Tezzeret for three, get Crucible, and replay it. Either way, it doesn't matter. Um... And at this point, I've got I've completed the lock. So my opponent uses Gary Sanctum. They get a draw and discard. I, I have to discard an XLA card during their draw step. I call a CM them. They can't play any instance because of um, Teferi, and they can't draw any cards because of Narset. They just have to discard three. So they send in with their two three. I just uh, double block. My opponent then goes for their commander because it's literally the only card they're going to have access to for the rest of the game. Um, unless I have a card that plays from the graveyard. At the end of their turn, I go ahead and bounce their land, which allows them to draw an extra card, because that card would theoretically allow them to draw a card on my turn, because Narset would not be if, would, does not care about the first card drawn on my turn. Um, it only cares about the first card drawn each turn. But with that bounced and out of the way, um, and in their hand right now, I'm now going to, of course, Colosseum during their draw step, and Arch of Araska is taken care of, as well as their draw step. I used Trinket Major to get a Skull Clamp specifically so that I could make this trade. Um, not because I cared about the two cards, but just because I needed a way to trade with their commander um, so that I don't have to waste resources or time on dealing with it. Of course, I could have just thrown up a Karn and blocked, but I thought it'd be more fun to do an end step Toxic Deluge uh, just because I can, and it's pretty cool. So this is the end of my opponent's turn, and I'm deluging. Then I was going to untap and then start the Karn. But frankly, in two turns, Tezzeret goes ultimate, and there's nothing they can do about it. With Colosseum, I'm going to prevent them from ever drawing or playing another card besides Liliana. Um, th there's just no possible way that my opponent can do anything whatsoever um, with this uh, lockout. And that is actually what I could be doing with, if I threw in a, um, I could throw in, like I said, the extra... Um, what is he called? Uh, the extra notion thief as a second method for making this happen. Um, it also would prevent them from drawing on my on my turn. So it does have it is slightly stronger than Narset in that it prevents them from drawing on my turn, and then it's stronger still in that if they do if I do put the combo together, I'm drawing cards. It's actually incredibly brutal for that way. Um, but as you saw, even even Narset's ability is strong enough. So I don't know. I, I don't know if I should if I should bother with it or if I should just keep the extra mana sources or what. So I look forward to hearing your comments. Why don't you think that I should have additional redundancy and a tutorable way to put the combo together with mystical teachings, but increase my four drop count, or if I should just leave it out, increase my artifact mana count, have an, or should I go back maybe and run? Because right now I, I went ahead and put I did put Vandal Blast back in and took out the um, two disenchants in order to free up slots. Basically, it makes me a little bit weaker to artifacts and enchantments. But I was r realizing that Teferi will actually allow me to bounce them. So and Narset will shut off a certain number of them. So in a way, I kind of have more artifact and enchantment redundancy here. 
sort of, but maybe just enough so that I don't need to play quite so many, um, and I could open up some slots. So that was the thought here. So what do you think? Chrome Mox, Notion Thief? I don't know, something else? Um, any ideas at all? I'm, I'm curious. Maybe I should go back to running um, the other Planeswalker that I used to run, uh, Dovin, that I was running for a while. Uh, Dovin's very strong. There's also the Fabricate that I took out, which, you know, fetches Soul Ring. Um, there's, there are other things. I could run the two-mana Planeswalker Jace uh, if I just want to go absolutely crazy with Planeswalkers. So what do you think? Uh, let me know in the comments if you're interested, and thank you very much for watching. I'll, uh, I'll see you next time.